Hello, kind friends. Welcome to Finding Color 100 Prompts, a weekly challenge uh, where everyone color in adult coloring books for certain prompts, and usually we have one week for coloring. And today we'll see all the illustrations submitted for the prompt Flamingo. It's not a new prompt. Um, we had it our first uh, season of this challenge. And um, this prompt is among um, other 25 uh, prompts from the first uh, season. Anyway, in first season <coughs> we had 71 illustrations for this prompt and today we have 109 illustrations, um, much more than previously. <coughs> Uh, we have a lot of illustrations by Joanna Besford. By the way, last time when I uh, showed my my choice of illustrations, I completely forgot about Magical Jungle uh, by Joanna Besford. Um, we have a lot of pictures by Rita Berman, surprisingly. Uh, Kirby Rosanes, ex uh, the, that one is quite expected. Fabiana Tanaze and Joseph Kettenbank from Mythographic uh, Circle of Life, um, Kanuka Iguza, uh, some humorous illustrations like uh, by Chris Riddle or Denise Kletem. Uh, so, quite a variety, very beautiful, nice illustrations. Uh, let me show my works. Um, uh, this is one of my newest coloring books. It was untouched. And so I thought, uh, let me use this prompt to start this coloring book. It's by Forest Diver, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And I completed uh, this illustration. Uh, the drawings, um, they are like kind of contour cartoonish styles and Amazon paper so markers is the best choice for such type of illustrations of course I used color pencils over at some places to make it darker at some places to uh, lighten some uh, details uh, flamingo look quite bright you can notice them straight away thanks to their color a lot of hedgehogs here and greenery yeah quite easy illustration uh, but fun and i enjoyed uh, coloring it but that's not all this time i was able to color two illustrations for this prompt uh, the second one is from Circle of Life. I had uh, some time and I thought um, these illustrations are rather um, simple and they are colored rather quickly. Uh, though, uh, thanks to <laughs> some change of events, I finished right now before uh, filming this video. But anyway, I did finish it. <laughs> I didn't want another whip because there was not much to finish and I thought, okay, let me make an effort and finish it. Uh, so that's my result. Mm, in this illustration particularly, you, you can't think of something too much magical or what. Uh, everything rather realistic. I wanted the sky in the color of flamingos as well, some greenery, water, birds, flowers, everything very simple and not that many details on this picture. So it was again rather easy coloring but very enjoyable and I'm glad that I decided to color the second illustration because one page more completed in this book now. So that was my results for this prompt. And now let's uh, see all the submitted illustrations, all those beautiful pinkish flamingos. Let's go.
That was our gallery of works for the prompt Flamingo, the second uh, gallery. Maybe uh, some would find this one better than in the first season. Uh, maybe some people would think the first one was more interesting. But I think they both were interesting enough. Equal. <laughs> uh, now, of course, let me take my colorful magical box with prompts and let's find out a new prompt for the upcoming week. Oh, well, friends, we've got envelope. Not that easy prompt, right? Uh, I can't think of anything at the moment, right away. Uh, usually when we have new prompt, uh, something comes on the mind, uh, even with such a uh, prompt like a um, smoke pipe, Pirates, Sherlock Holmes, something you can remember. And with envelope, I really can't remember any illustration. If any of you can uh, remember something just now when you find out this prompt, please write in a comment. It would be interesting. <laughs> uh, it's always curious to know what uh, people have at the first moment. Mm. My my mind is uh, blank at the moment for this prompt, uh, and I believe it for everyone. It's going to be tough to look through a lot of coloring books to find envelopes. Anyway, I'm off now to look through my collection and see you in a second. I'm fr I'm back, friends, and um, since. I need to do video. I don't have that much time to look through a lot of books and this prompt envelope it seems to be very hard to find. Uh, maybe I will look through some other books uh, during the week. Maybe I will find something else but for now I was able to find only four illustrations. So, if you know any books uh, where there are envelopes, please write in comments for other people uh, what 
I found jewelry box Hannah Carlson. There is this. Uh, this page is rather simple, but like it's connected. It's better to color them together because it's a portrait and her hand with this bird. Another illustration from Outlander, the official coloring book. And we have uh, this interior illustration and surprise there's an envelope here. But to be honest, this illustration doesn't inspire me that much. I don't like to color such stuff. But, well... Uh, the next illustration uh, does inspire me. Zemlya Snova Tamislav Tomic. But it's a double spread. It's Tomic. Very complicated. Uh, but very uh, beautiful. A lot of flowers. A princess. And as you can see, she's holding a bird with an envelope. I like this illustration. I really do. But to be in time to color that much, I have my doubts. <laughs> and the last illustration, it's uh, printed. Lenka Filonenka, Zodiac. And this is Gemini. A very lovely illustration. This one is very simple and rather cute. And we have an envelope here with butterflies coming out of it. Uh, so, this is the hardest, hardest to find prompt. Um, anyway, I'll be waiting for your illustrations. I hope there will be some works for this prompt. <laughs> and um, it's some intrigue here. Uh, that's all for today. See you next time. Bye.